napkins, costumes, and candy everywhere. But it's also notorious for pranks, kids throwing eggs at homes or cars and stealing candy. And that could lead to serious legal trouble. Joining us now is Jeff Isaac. He's known as the lawyer in blue jeans. It's good to have you here with us. Good morning. How are you? Good. And, you know, and I've got teens. Um, what are some of the things that, that they could do, as typical kids sometimes do, on a Halloween night and really get in big trouble for it? Well, it's interesting because a lot of the pranks that are innocuous, that are just small things, can actually lead to big problems, such as graffiti and theft and, th you know, thievery of candy or even assault and battery. Uh, all of these things that when kids think that, oh, I can get away with this or I can throw eggs at a car or I can do this, yeah. everything will be fine. Guess what? They may not be. Okay. It could be civilly or criminally problem. So the kid throws an egg at a car or at a house. What is the problem there? Well, the problem is you throw an egg at a car, it's property damage. That's basically a civil uh, issue and also a criminal issue. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, what if you throw the egg at the car when the car is moving and the car goes out of control and it hits or kills somebody? Mm -hmm. Now we got a huge problem. Okay. Another Halloween prank that they do, they, they steal candy from the littler kids. They say, give me the candy bag. What's the problem there? <laughs> well, again, if it's a small thing, most prosecutors aren't going to deal with it. But it's called petty theft, at least in California. There's a certain amount of, of uh, money involved, such as $400 or less. And mm -hmm. petty theft is a crime. The, the, the parents could be held liable civilly for sure and possibly even criminally as well. Mm -hmm. So parents' involvement is significant in this as well. When you talk to parents and, you, and you know, you're talking about things like this, how do you tell them how to approach the teens? Well, I think it's a matter of drawing the line. I mean, on a, on a night like this, people do things, little things like teeping and things like that. Mm -hmm. that. On its own, it's probably not a problem. But the parents need to sit down and say, here is where the line is. If you cross this line, mm -hmm. you could end up in jail. Uh, you could end up costing me and you big problems in dollars and in, in problems down the road. So the, the issue is, is where the line is drawn. It is a crime. It is a civil issue. And you have to know where it is. If it's a small thing, guess what? It's not a big problem. But if it's a larger thing, you got a big problem. Yeah, so it sounds like you've got to tell those kids, here's where the prank ends and the problem with the law begins. Jeff Isaac, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.